You remember a time when Rocket Power was on TV? I remember that time. It was pretty fun. I mean, it was Rocket Power. They had lingo that nobody used and and sports that nobody ever did. And, um... I don't like french fries for hair that were red. But then they made a game for it. It's called Rocket Power Beach Bandits. <laughs> what do they do? Steal the beach? Uh, let's start this bitch up. Uh. So, yeah, they're out of school for the summer, and I guess they want to get in their school activities first, right? No, they want to fucking party and do sports and stuff and surf. And they want to, I don't know, do shit. Fuck if I know. They want to do sports because they're such active oh, youngsters. No. Guys, look. And this happens. The sand, it's all gone. Yeah. My cut to shreds. I mean, how do they do this? They do this in one night. Just your surfing auto. And. No, nobody notices this overnight. No policemen. I mean, there'd have to be like a large army or lots of machinery. Loud, loud machinery. Nobody fucking notices this shit. I mean, what the hell? It takes so many resources just to take all the sand off the beach. Plus, tide brings in more sand. But, uh, well, you know what? What the fuck do I know? It, it's fucking Nickelodeon. Hey, I think they're gonna say so. Oh, assured that we are working to fix this issue as soon as we can. On that note, I'd like to welcome Eric Gollum. Adam, Adam. Has pledged his science division to find the answer to our anomalous sand deficiency. Thank you. You know what's awesome about this guy? Watch, he's gonna do this fucking awesome ass pimp walk. God damn. Thank you. And good afternoon, everybody. He did it. When I first saw Ocean Shores, I said to myself, what a marvelous... Yeah, and he pretty much goes on and speaks more bullshit about how it's the perfect place, and he only liked it, and he's all like, yeah, because, you know, he's obviously the evil bad guy who did it. Come on! He's a pimp walk, a gold tooth, and that awesome purple suit. Also, he's got, um, the fucking mustache. And beard. Really? Do you we think this guy is a good guy? A new wall, if you are, you are seriously retarded. Why is it so improbable that this guy has hydrogynological technicians? Titians. Let's even look up what the word means. Hydro is, means water. Uh, dyna means power or strength. And logical would be of logic. And titians would be people who work with it. So, powerful water... The logic of power and water, the people who study the logic of power or strength and of water. No? Yeah, well, they think, oh, well, we should tell our dad, because well, that makes no sense. I don't like this person. I'm going to tell my daddy. Wait, they make us walk there? Seriously, it's like fucking 20 feet. Come on. And then, Things well, they talk good, about Gino. how, oh I no, that's going to don't bring away tourism. No and then, no stuff. I don't know, they, they don't 
get no rentals, anxiety. they don't get Especially tourists the for their food shack of shit. And I don't no know. Ocean Shore Surf Classic. And sell crap. The same comes yeah, back I think that's their problem. Week. And then he whines, then Raymundo whines and bitches first about, one I've Oh, this is gonna be my first one I've ever Good, missed, guys. cause I'm a little Sarah. lonely as a bitch. And then Surely. they're all like, yeah, yeah let's go fix it. Ourselves. Fix what? Yeah, well, let's go put more sand back. And, okay, um, guys, yeah, he lets him off because he thinks that's safe. He's like, hey, I don't know what um, you would be doing, but something might be legal. Yeah, go ahead and do it. I don't care. It's not like I'm your father or anything. Caring about your safety is overrated. Now you're supposed to like go down here and Yeah. That took a shortcut, but you're supposed to go down here and find Lars, you know, Twister's brother, who's a douchebag. Who always seems like not really a big brother, but just kind of like an asshole. Like not a big brother at all. Just, just some guy who lives at your house. And somehow related to you, but yet as a douchebag. He does not seem like a brother. I don't know, he just doesn't seem related to Twister. He looks so much like a bad. Who'd wear that shirt? Anywho, yeah, they uh, challenge him to, uh, if Lars challenges them to a competition. If they win, they show them what they've got. Wow. But if he wins, You've got Sounds stupid as hell. Okay. And then, yeah, they you give you a training ride. session for, yeah, I mean, yes, training them for tricks on the skateboard. It's, it's pretty good, but, I mean, there's no balance system for, like, grinding. You just have to know that you, well, you can't land on the side of your wheels. Um, for grinding, you don't have a bar. For balance, so you can just hold grind. It's pretty um, stupid. Um, grabs are pretty uh, simple. Not much else to it. But uh, yeah, they have a tutorial for this because this is important, and they don't have a tutorial for when you for, for later buttons for like later parts of the game. Yeah. They just don't give you any tutorial at all. Pretty fun. Right. Like actually walking around. You have to figure everything out yourself. So you don't care to do something. Because tutorials aren't in game. No. Yeah. In adventure games, a tutorial being in the first chapter? What is that? Now, give your double hand grab. Damn it. Yeah, but uh, pretty much the skating thing goes. If you pull off a trick, you get you get more stuff added to your rocket meter. That pretty much adds to your speed, but your rocket meter goes down. So pretty much you have to keep doing tricks to keep gaining speed, which really doesn't make sense in logic. But of course they stole the beach. So you beat okay, it. Pie. You beat his I ass in points because you're not. good as hell. Lord, and well, they, they promised to give up their end of their bargain, Follow which me. I would see that they wouldn't because they're douchebags. The I don't know. It kind of seems like Come that. On. And well, Check it out. they show we you um we found it here this thing. Me. Uh, and they're so stupid, they think, oh, no, yeah, space aliens is the culprit. That makes sense. Yeah. And then, well, they find out that the thing has the same logo as douche McMoney bags. You know, that one guy. Anywho, he, uh, I guess he's doing douche McMoney bags things and creating robots. That's what douche McMoney bag bags things entail. I'm pretty sure of it. Anywho, they go on and it's like, oh, we should go tell our dad. Because, you know, you have to report everything you uh, know to your dad. I remember when I was young and I used to do that. Except I didn't. Also, another thing to note. Whenever you hit a loading screen, you change up whatever vehicle you're in. 
swampy to pretty much pad out the game so that you take longer to complete it because they're assholes and every time you do that you have to okay go to start you go to select you can't have a button that. Oh, that's just retarded so yeah um they explained to their dad that douche mcmoney bags are gone whatever he uh is taking the sand sure and uh He's like, go tell the police and stuff, and yeah. And it's so Officer Shirley! Officer Shirley! Now don't call me Shirley. Something I can do for you, children? So, yeah, they're just telling Officer Shirley and stuff what they're, well, planning to do, and could you book them? And she's like, no, I need evidence, like any other. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but why would he damn it. Mr. Gollum seems to be trying oh, to Oh, at least there's some sense now, left in this. Sure of this. you need to bring me some well, evidence. Somewhat. I promise. I'll look Still into the beach. No problem, officer. I just have to point and shoot, and we'll have him totally sprung. Wait, what did you just say? I just have to point and shoot, and we'll have him totally sprung. Dude. You just make sure um, you get raised permission gross. first. I'm not going to be impressed hell? by any false alarms about missing uh, kids. God. You understand? Oh. Uh. Gotcha, officer Shirley. Next part of the cinematics, they're like, hey, we're gonna leave. So, yeah, I remember this guy from the show. He was like, thinks he's retarded and, well, Prince of the Netherworld, because he's been way to way too many BD sessions and uh, too many RP places. God. And uh, he's like, oh, my mom. He uh, didn't like that I was into satanic stuff. You know that was back in the 70s. So he threw out all my masks in all the dark world. And yeah, I want you to go get them for me. I can't reach in a trash can because I'm retarded. So he tells Reggie to go get it. Why specifically her? I don't know, but... She accepts right, to Here's get information. Now, and after doing that stuff, it's um well, back to, well, I mean, oh, look, I uh, heard someone else saw, know something about this. You know, tidbits of information like in some adventure games. And it's pretty, I mean, stupid because, you know, you're just going around here getting useless crap here and showing up there for no fucking reason. Because you're stupid. And then again, I still have to select shit. The thing I hate about traveling is just, why can't it be one all-continuous map? Then we don't have to use loading screens for each individual place. And then it doesn't suck dick as much. Anywho, it's pretty mindless when you have to try and find things. Because it literally points right to it. Because you have an arrow just right there above you telling you exactly where to go and it's not that hard to figure out where to go it's just a matter of taking the time to get there because it takes forever there's gonna be a part two bitches fuck you